Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to assemble my fall acorn that you'll find at the Silhouette online store and at lauriewhitlock.com and SVG format. Um, in the file you're going to find um, a bottom and a top to the acorn that look like these two pieces. And you'll also find a little tiny piece that looks like this for the stem of the acorn. You'll find an oak leaf and you'll find a little tiny top to the stem to circle. So let's go ahead and start by um, folding all of the pieces to the top of the acorn um, in one direction. So we'll fold the six panels all towards the inside. And then we'll go around and fold all the little blue flaps on the side down towards the inside of the box. And then you'll notice that there are two horizontal um, lines that we will fold towards the inside of, of the box as well. So just fold those down. And then down again. So they look like that. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to just go around and each piece has three edges to glue. And I'm going to just go around and glue all of those down. A lot of people wonder um, what glue I'm using in these tutorials. It's called Zip Dry Paper Glue. And I absolutely love this glue. It's very forgiving. Um, and it allows you to wipe away the excess, kind of like a rubber cement. I know I talk about it a lot, but I have, I believe me, I've tried every glue that they make, and I always come back to this one. Um, it just, it dries quickly, but it also, and it holds really well, doesn't wrinkle the paper, and, um, but it does a very good job. And I can also wipe away any excess. I'm making it kind of messy right now. Some of the other white glues and different things that I've tried um, actually end up wrinkling the paper just a little bit because it dries, which I really don't like. And they're just messy. You can't, it's just hard to be careful enough with them to not create a mess. Okay, we're almost done here. Sorry, this is taking a minute. Just going to do two panels at once here. The other thing with this glue, if you end up messing up on an area, you can always pull it off and start over doesn't rip your paper. Okay, and now we have one last section to put together. Okay, and you should have a little lid that's beginning to look like this. This box um, will come, the lid will come off, so that's kind of nice. You can put treats in it. Okay, we're going to let that dry. And um, actually, while that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and glue, um, this is the little stem at the top. Go ahead and fold. Um, actually, all of these bigger notches are going to fold towards the outside, so towards your color that you want the stem to be. And the other ones are going to fold towards the inside. And we're going to bring the two ends around. And I actually like to kind of wrap this around a pin or something to kind of form the stem and get it going all the right direction. And then I'm going to put glue on the little angled glue flap that you see here. Actually, I have a little bit here in my bag. I'm just going to wrap it around. Okay, so I'm going to glue those ends together and hold it for a minute. And that can be drying as well. 
Just start your um, glue right where those angles begin and end, and you'll have just the right shape to fit the little circle on top of your stem. So I'm just holding that tightly for a minute. So there's a little bit of an awkward, tiny little circle to glue. It kind of angles out at the top, kind of to create that look. Okay, and um, those little flaps are going to go out once you put it inside of your top, top of your acorn. So I'll let that dry for just a minute. In the meantime, let's put together the bottom of our acorn shape. I'm going to fold all the little flaps towards the inside of my acorn. And I'm going to fold all of the little side panels in to start forming the outside of my acorn. Okay, so now you have this where everything's ready to go the right direction. Now I'm going to take this, this little angled glue flap edge here and put some glue on it. Actually, that needs to be folded as well. Just preparations there. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that. I kind of like to lay this flat on my desk and put a little glue down on the strip and then lay the other piece from the other side flat down so I can get good pressure on it. I mean, as you can see, it's just, it'll lay flat while you're gluing it, which is nice. Okay, now the bottom, you're just going to push all those flaps straight down and glue the little um, hexagon straight down onto those glue flaps. Do on this flap and then hold that in place. Okay, being patient is probably the hardest part here. And everything glues and dries. Maybe I'll go ahead and let that dry for a minute while we work on the lid again. Okay, I'm going to take my little round piece and push all my flaps straight so I can put it through the hole of the lid. Okay, once you have that through, you can flip it or you can see the inside. Put a little bit of glue around that ring. And then... You can just fold those flaps straight down and have them glue into the, the glue there. I'm going to try and put my finger down this little hole here. Okay, and just go around until you can get all those flaps to glue down in place. Getting a little stem and right the top there. Okay, now you can just take all the little spikies and push them down. And I kind of like to push them in a little extra so they will be cooperative. And go ahead and put a little glue on those. You take your little circle and stick it right on top. To close that off. And if you want, you can put like a little pin or something up in there to kind of help put some pressure on those tabs. Make your circle just right. Okay. I'm going to push down on that on that table. Like that. Make your stick. Okay. I think I will let this sit for a minute. Maybe put some weight on it for just a minute. Okay, you'll notice um, your acorn bottom has these flaps that are sticking out. I wanted this to be pretty sturdy, so I created these reinforcement sides. 
so that it would make it extra firm. So let's go ahead and um, get those out and put some glue on those, and then we'll glue those down. This glue does like to dry pretty fast, so I kind of have to work with the free so it doesn't dry on me. Okay, I'm going to go around each flap and just make sure those are stuck down really well. Okay, now we have our little lid and our apron. And we are all done. There is our cute little acorn that um, has a cute little lid, and you can store things inside of it for fall or use them as little gifts for your Halloween table. Or you're not your Halloween, your Thanksgiving table. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoy making this project, and I will see you next time.